Hello and welcome to Epic Battle Cry. Woo! This is the place where we cut through the crap to bring you the real deal on the gaming industry today. I'm your host, Tony Grice, and with me, as always, Brent Adams and Hello. Daniel Kaiser. What up? Daniel, how are you doing today, man? I'm drinking beer. And we're going to do it old school. We're just going to do the old style intro. How, how are you doing this week? How are you feeling? Uh, Fine. Good. Okay, yeah. Brent. <laughs> What's up? My brothers of bloodlust. My comrades of carnage. <laughs> how art thou? I oh, squeaked one more in there. Yeah, I did. That's I good. Do. Went thank, next week thank, too. thank you for the setup. Tony. Yeah. I appreciate that. I, I don't. I don't think that is technically going to be the last one we hear. But uh, yeah, yeah. We'll have to. he'll probably you do never know. Them you never week. know. Yeah. You know, so it, it, if you guys uh, haven't been listening to the last fucking week worth of <laughs> these where we've been very uh, Man, who can upfront blame about you? it. We, uh, we're we wrapping up the old epic battle cry. This um, Today's episode will be the last of our YouTube style videos. We were sort of trying something different after uh, after game trailers and uh, uh, now uh, we've decided we're going to end it uh, next week. We're going to have, uh, of course, a, a big wrap up sort of uh, retrospective look back at our, uh, you know, a look back at our, our time in the, our, uh, the life old, uh, and times of EBC. <laughs> exactly. But, uh, but anyway, uh, from it's greatness a, to dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I think, yeah, <laughs> I think let's, you started us off pretty high too. I don't know if we started not, uh, from greatness. Yeah. Let's just leave that question as it is. Exactly. Unanswered. Anyway, but, uh, but we do of course have our last question, uh, here on a Friday. It is of course, October 3rd, 2014. And it comes from John Skiglinski. 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 I like Skiglinski. Yeah, because his, his Twitter is at John Skig. So that's true. And then I couldn't have anything else to do. But yes, I mean, it's a. Uh, it could be pronounced like science, though. Like it could be uh, Sigolinski. Yeah. Sig- Sigolinski. Mm, maybe. So John, Sigolinski take Skig- pride in the fact that us making fun of people's names, you're you're the last one to have that done to it. Uh, yeah, but anyway, right. we, we do appreciate the question. He says, at Epic Battle Axe, if I got a PS4 today, I can mostly look forward to playing uh, remakes of games I already own. Is it yeah. fair to pay twice for games? Mm. So, uh, Brent, why don't you start us off? What, what, what do you think? Is it fair to, to do that very thing i'm not i don't understand where the concept of fairness comes into it i mean it's not like you're required <laughs> it's to, not like you're forced yeah it, n- nobody nobody made you get a ps4 yeah, have you not read the you uh, eula games. on the new ps4s you, yeah. are <laughs> you are required to buy, to buy all remakes so you know i i don't i would not approach that situation in terms of fairness it's just what do you want to do with your money um and you know as i was talking about on yesterday's episode uh where we answered a question about you know what? Like, if we could pick one game to play uh, for the next six months, what would it be? And I said it'd be Grand Theft Auto V on the PlayStation Four. I already have Grand Theft Auto V on the PlayStation Three, but uh, you know that uh, that came out when 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 my life was getting very busy with the birth of my daughter and so forth, and, and I didn't get to play nearly as much of it as I wanted to. So I actually am really looking forward to the prospect of playing it again on the PlayStation 4 where it's going to look better graphically, where I'm going to be able to use the DualShock 4, which is a much better controller than the DualShock 3 was. And, and just being able to take advantage of, of those things in addition to experiencing the, the game itself, which I didn't get to do much of, uh-huh. I'm really looking forward to that. I, I'm, I think that, that that's a great time. Now, at the same, by the same token, though, uh, the Last of Us, like The Last of Us remastered on PlayStation 4. You know, I didn't pick that up. I, I played The Last of Us on PlayStation 3, and I had that experience. And, you know, at least at full price, uh, it's just, it's not something that I think is worth, it's not worth the money for me to go back mm-hmm. and, and get that game. I, I just, I, I don't feel as strongly about playing mm-hmm. it again. And, uh, and, and I, I just don't. I right. just don't think it, it's it's worth uh, worth my time or money at this point to do so. So mm-hmm. as far as as far as like going back and playing remakes and stuff, you know, there's 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 games that uh, that I certainly enthusiastically would do so, and then there's others that you know that I'll skip. So I really think it all comes down to you, and uh, and just you know what do you think has enough value to to play once again on on your new console? What's got enough uh, draw for you? Yeah. What do you think, DK? 
Well, I, you know, I, I sympathize with Siggy here uh, in that, uh, you know, y- you buy a new car. Co- I think one of the main points here, aside from whether or not I should buy remakes, whether or not it's ethical to have remakes and charge full price for them to people who already bought the original game. Uh, I think there's, uh, uh, I detect obvious frustration in the fact that he bought a new console and that console's library feels kind of flooded with things he's already experienced. So, you know, there's something like, hey, I bought the console and I want to buy games and I'm kind of forced to rebuy games that I've already played and, and whatnot. And that's, I'm not sure forced is the word that well, you're looking for. Well, if, if, if you want to play library, something on your new system, you maybe something. you feel slightly forced, you know? Like right, that, right. Yeah, like there's not choice. a lot of options. Um, yeah. So, Although I, I do agree with you, Brent. It's not, you know. Yeah, it's not forced at all. And that I do, I do the word, you know, uh, the word um, fair is not really applicable here. It depends on what your definition of the word is, is. <laughs> um, I had Dr. Pepper <laughs> again. I did not have sexual relations with that PlayStation, but I will Remind tell you. Remind me to tell you guys about my dream hanging out with Bill Clinton when we finish this up, okay? Oh, you Lord. had one too? Yeah. I think Bill, I think Bill Clinton is the Antichrist. Um, uh, maybe. Yeah, after this dream I think he's an awesome guy like I kind of want to hang with him now <laughs> no I'm just joking I, I, anyway. I would love to hang with Bill Clinton but anyway um, <laughs> yeah I mean for me I, I think there it, it, this is really a case by case basis I mean it, it, like you said in the case of uh, uh, you know a game like The Last of Us you weren't compelled to do that in GTA 5 you are compelled to do that um, for me would I play a remastered version of Mass Effect 2? Uh, probably not. That's a big time crunch. That's a big investment uh, in terms of, you know, what it requires to get through the game. If it had a bunch of extra content, maybe. I don't know. But, um, you know, there are older games that I would, end up... I would love to. Just, just to stop you, if they fucking come out with, like, a Mass Effect HD remastered thing with, like, all three games in it, <laughs> I'd get in in a heartbeat. Like, in a fucking heartbeat, I'd get that. On PS4? Yeah. Yeah, I mean they came out with a collection and stuff, so you know, I mean, which is cool. But I mean, to have all, but th- but they were, but it was they, like, were really they didn't do it graphically with it, yeah. right? Yeah, it was so just it was, a collection of the games. Yeah, I would like to. I, I mean, I'd like to see it. You know what I'm saying? But as far as it goes, I mean, it's one of my favorite games of all time. But other games yeah. I might be more compelled to do. But um, I do think that you know, in this day and age, consumer loyalty is is very important as well. So if there is any, you know, look, it's a free market as well. So if the businesses want to release a game and they're not forcing anybody to buy it, so if they can make money doing that, great. But it would be nice at some point, and some games have done this, you know, with the trade-up type of thing. You know, I know, you know, especially with... Uh, um, you know, when the Xbox One was launching and stuff, there was a few, you know, hey, you buy, if you buy this game, like, like Bat- Battlefield, right? Or yeah, something like yeah. that. Like you could trade up and just, you know, get it for the new consoles. And um, so, you know, I mean, there's that, which I think is always helpful. Um, the first year, the first year of new consoles is always a little barren. In really, and you could even take that out yeah. to the first two or three years. Really, like I mean, you, there's it's it gets gr- the the chances of more and more better and better games gets higher as you go down the road. You know, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I think gamers have just been barren it. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, you had just one more time. Ports. Yeah, had to get too late. Uh, you, to, you know, to speak bear in. to the uh, geez, <laughs> the question that he's he's bringing up, like you know, this this to me does feel a little bit like someone who hasn't bought the system yet and is kind of saying a, a little bit to the sense of like, why would I even buy this? You know, because this is all I have to look forward to. Yeah, I, you know, I I do think that there is something to be said for I want to buy. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna commit to buying your new system. And part of that agreement is that you're going to make games that I want to play for it. I, I think that's uh, at least yeah. not 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 directly for me, but like I have faith in you that you're going to you know that games are going to come out. And I would say that like when the games that you like, like if you like a Grand Theft Auto style game, the fact that you know this will be the second Christmas time you know holiday season that the system's been out that you don't Christmas. have that kind of experience and you're sort of forced granted i know it's not really being forced but like you don't have another great option to go to if you want that style of game other than to play a remake of it um we don't have an uncharted out you know yet again these are things that are completely reasonable i mean we you know I, i didn't expect to have those that quality of games out at this point in time but it is a little bit like if you are looking for those experiences you know there, there aren't we haven't covered all of the genres of games on the new consoles yet there are 
less options to choose from uh, oh, yeah. on your new console than there are, frankly, on your old console. I mean, you know, you, you can still play a, a bunch. I mean, hell, Destiny just came out on last gen and current gen. So, I mean, right. you know, there are some some great games that you can experience, and maybe that's the thing to do. You know, if there's not a game out that you know you're not really ready for, then then maybe it's not necessarily. There's no need for you to go out and buy a system. You know, yeah. um, I would I would say like something like to what Brent was talking about earlier. I think. It, and, and, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I think you you got to play You're through wrong. completely um, Last of Us, right? Like me, yes. Yeah, but you yeah. did, but you didn't get to put as much time in Grand Theft Auto, right? That's correct. So it, don't you think that probably has a little bit to do with why you sure. wouldn't want to play a remake? Like, had you not gotten to play as much uh, of Last of Us, do you think you would have maybe picked it up it, on PS4? It, it's definitely there's definitely a component of that to it, but another thing is just the nature of the Last of Us as a game. It's not. It's it just not didn't grab me quite as much. Like no, no, no. It's not, it's it's not, not like that. a replayable. It's just that, yeah, that's exactly right. It, it, it's not a game that I feel like a deep need to play again. Like, like, yeah. like playing it through the one time is kind of enough. Like, there's some yeah. games that you, I mean, like, like Arkham City. Like, I've played through Arkham City like three times or something. You know? Yeah. The Last of Us is not that kind of game for me. Yeah. yeah I, okay. I and can see GTA, that. I, like, you can, even if you go through those opening missions, they're going to happen in a different way, slightly. You know? I mean, some things are going to be a little yeah. different. Yeah. Well, I, I just was going to say that I thought that that might have some dude, just a little bit yeah, like how I, much I mean, you get it, to it's enjoy. It's a component, the, definitely. Um, and, yeah. and I was going to say, like, that's the thing. Like, I didn't, I specifically didn't get Grand Theft Auto Five because I, I felt like much sooner than it's happened, frankly, that we would get an up, an upgraded port. Frankly, I thought it was going to be on the PC, and it was essentially just going to be a mildly yeah. enhanced version of the version that came out on PS3 and, and yeah, and that, that was what I was expecting as well. Exactly. And now I will say, like, having seen the the new version, it looks amazing to me yeah. um i will say also with you know the, the last of us in a way the upgrade doesn't seem as big as that's it does dramatic, yeah. yeah so that's another thing that kind of goes to it but you know what if you didn't you know if you've already played last of us count yourself lucky why well, you know why would you yeah. why would you care that there's a remake being made for people that maybe didn't get Haven't to try it before it. or yeah. maybe that enjoyed it so much that they do want to experience it again with you know better visuals and, and whatever like mm. sometimes i do I, I i do think it is kind of that like coming up with a reason to sort of be upset about something or you know you know i'm not saying that that's not a valid point but it's just like sometimes i think it's like you know well you know the alternative is you don't have to do any of these things you know right, there yeah. are other games that do look really really good maybe none of them kind of hit your your interest bone but if it if it doesn't then hey count yourself <laughs> lucky you don't have to shell out four hundred dollars for a ps4 you yeah, know what you i mean tell like me exactly where your interest bone is located <laughs> um i can i can show you <laughs> the uh, but anyway, I think um, I think it's a I think it's a, a very fair question. Although I, I do sort of think if you're com- if you're if you're sort of coming at it from this perspective, you obviously haven't seen anything else that's really interesting you in the in the platform. And honest right. to goodness, th- don't then hey don't buy you it. have four hundred more dollars to spend like, on other stuff in your life because you don't. You, you, I, you, I, I question if buying the the new console was was really the right thing because uh, you know, like I said, I mean. Well, and like he says and I if got I got a PS4 like today, so I mean, I don't think he did. <laughs> That's my right. whole point. I don't think he's bought it yet. Uh, well, and that, that that'd be for the best, probably. If, yeah. if 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 he feels that the the catalog is as lackluster, and that upsets him, you know, because like he you and I, bought, we got our excited. consoles day yeah. one, and we knew going to be slim pickings for a while. Well, I'll be honest with you. I talked to a good friend of mine about potentially selling him my PS4 the other day because yeah. you know. I, Financially, things go go on in your life and whatnot. And I was I was thinking, you know what? I really haven't played much on my PS4 lately. I I know How that I can I get it. a decent amount out of it still. Maybe I should just do it, and then who knows? Down the road, something else comes out. But then I really Price did think I was out. like, you know what? I'm I'm going to rebuy that in like two or three months. So what what am I doing? It's just you know, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's why, just why, it's why just a short term thing. So there's no point in really doing it. But I will say, there's kind of that, that thing in my head that like, you know what? Yeah. I, I really don't. There isn't a lot that's out there, even for me right now. But right. I, but you I put kind it on the of scale. You're like PS4, drug money. What do I do? exactly? <laughs> hookers. I yeah. mean, hookers don't pay for themselves. Yeah, unless oh, they're really high right. and they don't realize they're doing it. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, that has been our final. We we ended on a hooker joke on our very <laughs> last sort yeah, of standard seems, form. It seems appropriate. Somehow. Seems appropriate. It does. Our shows are does. always filled with hooks. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that is going to do it for uh, this Friday edition, and uh, ostensibly the, the the final sort of sort Question of normal format, format to the uh, so, yeah. Next week we'll have chatting. 
Yeah, we'll just sit around and talk. So it'll be even more boring. So you know, you probably won't even want to check it out. <laughs> I, uh, I I'm actually looking forward to that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Us kind of talking about just normal stuff and not necessarily having to go through the gaming news of the day. Yes, right. exactly. Which we so, hope that you did enjoy us going through the gaming news of the day. Yeah. <laughs> for the last yes. six years. Yes, but and thank you, Skiggy, Skiggy, yeah, uh, Skiggy, uh, and and all the contributors this week. So we appreciate your questions. Absolutely, and uh, have a good make weekend. Sure, <laughs> make sure to join us next week when we will be cleaving through the fat of the game stories of the day. Not really for Daniel. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna say it anyway. For Daniel <laughs> and Brent, I'm your host Tony Grice. Remember, cry havoc and let your voice be heard. <laughs>